Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Today, we're gonna have a very exciting video. We're gonna be talking about balls. But not just any balls. We're talking about these little guys. These are Ram balls. You've probably seen them around. You might not know much about them. You might not know how they work what they do, and that's what this video is for. So even before I got into overlanding, I saw these things around and I always wondered what they were or how they functioned way back when. Then my friend got some and used it to mount his phone and I was like, that's really cool. So then I started looking into them and I, I have a problem, kind of. I always am looking to improve systems, so I'm never really satisfied with the current this or the current that, so I'm always looking to improve things. I'm always looking to make things work better. So I looked into these. I started looking into these and they have like 5,000 SKUs or something. So if you want to do something with these, chances are you're going to be able to do it with them because they, 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 they make everything that has to do with mounting like devices and stuff. So anyways, I bought a few things and I started tinkering uh, and then I called them up. I said, hey, I'm looking to do such and such. I'm looking to mount GoPros and cameras and phones and GPS units and iPads and I have a truck and I'm in overlanding. And I talked to them on the phone for a while and they answered a bunch of my questions, recommended some products to me. They are just a quick preface of the company. They're out in Washington. Their stuff, pretty much all their stuff is made in the USA. So that's awesome. And they're all just compatible with each other. So I'm gonna kinda just break down my system of RAM mounts. It's kind of constantly always evolving and stuff. But I'm gonna show you my setup. Some of it is custom, some of it's off the shelf. Custom is in like I drilled some drilled some holes in my Tacoma. But yeah, all of that to say if you're into mounting stuff, phones and that kind of stuff, you might want to stick around. And I'll show you both kind of how these things work as well as how I'm having them work for me. All right, so quick intro to the RAM system. At one end, you have a ball. This ball is mounted in a variety of ways. There's a lot of aftermarket support for this. This is kind of like the Glock of the mounting world in the sense that if anyone's gonna make an aftermarket something that's gonna be compatible with something, it's gonna be with the RAM ball mount system. So you have a ball that's mounted somewhere. I'll get into that in a second, kind of how I have them mounted. Then you have what's called an arm. These arms are made out of uh, aluminum, have a little tightener thing here. The arm will then latch onto the ball. And then the other end of the arm is a, another ball, typically. So this is something called the X-Grip. Yeah, the X-Grip. Probably one of the most popular accessories for the RAM mount world. This will then hook on to the other end of the RAM mount. And then you have this fully kind of articulating system where you can have this mounted and you can turn it, make it go higher, angle it down, all that kind of stuff. Basically you have two ball joints at the end here. Once you have it in the position that you want, you then tighten it down and then it's very solid, very secure. You put your phone in here, you let it go, and it holds your phone in place like so. Release it, get it out, and this is spring-loaded. So this is one of, like I said, 5,000 SKUs. They have these in various sizes. The cell phone one, they have a couple sizes. You can use it for like a GPS. You can use it for a phone, obviously. You can use it for, they have similar ones to this. I'll show you here in a second. This guy, you can mount a tablet to. They have different size tablet mounts. They have GoPro mounts. And they have another system, which is probably one of my favorites, where you can still use magnets. So I use magnets for everything. You see here, I put a little plate on the back of my phone. That goes onto a magnet, bingo, bango. Though, for overlanding and stuff, sometimes the magnet hold isn't quite strong enough, so you need to go with one of these X-Grip type things, or maybe you're just not a magnet guy, you have a phone that does wireless charging and you use wireless charging, you can't really put that metal plate on the back. Anyway, if magnets aren't your thing, plenty of other mounts. This is one of my favorite ones. This is a claw with a magnet on the other side. 
But just like all the RAM things, the claw is simply a clamp that you can tighten down, has a little rubber inserts in there with a ball on one end. So the ball, as with all the RAM stuff, hooks onto an arm, and that arm hooks on to your accessory of choice. Now this is really cool. Follow me real quick. Now this is a steering wheel. I wouldn't actually use this on a steering wheel, but you can use it. Mainly what I use it for is on a tent pole, but you can do it on anything. And they sell these in different sizes. So this will basically loosen up, clamp on like that. This arm then you can get, maybe you wanna angle it this way. And then you wanna slap your phone onto the magnet. Bam, just like that. For me, like I said, I use it in my tent and I put my iPad having trouble focusing because it's just reflecting what's in the background. But my iPad, I also have a little plate on the back of this puppy so I can use it with magnets. They also do have a variety of these suction cup mounts. This is a double, they have triples, they have singles. They do recommend that you don't use these on moving vehicles. I have, but I'm not recommending that you do that. And they also recommend to not do that. Uh, liability issues and stuff because it may fall off while you're moving. Uses this kind of cam lock system. Suction cups on the bottom. Make sure the surface is clean, obviously. Suction cups will then lock on, boom. Ball plus arm plus accessory. Then you can get some really cool shots off the side of your truck, facing back, forward, whatever, watching your wheels and suspension bounce up and down. So yeah, the suction cups, again, they have a few different kinds. Another very cool accessory. So while we're here, I'll show you this. That same claw that had this magnet that I used to stick on my iPad or cell phone, this thing is really designed to stick to metal, and then you can use whatever accessory you want on there. It's quite solid as well, but again, they probably recommend that you don't use that in moving vehicles, and I would feel the same way, but you can use your imagination, and you can think about what you might want to use this magnet end for the mounting end on there. All right, so we'll step in my truck now. So there's, I just have a bunch of accessories because I'm showing them. This is a little wedge that basically goes in between your center console and your seat. It has a little pump device as well. You can pump it up and then let the air out when you have got it sufficiently tight in there to where it's not gonna move. This as with all the other Ram products has a little ball on the end here. And then you can do something like have your tablet or laptop or whatever GPS down there. And the cool thing is you can take it out from this car to another car, take it on a road trip, take it in your buddy's car, do whatever you want here. Kind of helps, you know, crumbs and stuff not fall in here too as well. So that's just another way to get a ball into your life. So my primary way here is we have the center console area here, and then we have this ball here, huh? All right, so we'll take a closer look here. Here's a ball. This is a track system that I put in here, they sell this. So this is actually another Ram product where it's just this little aluminum track system. So when I'm sitting up here, it kind of blends in with everything. It's just raw aluminum look. You could paint it some color or something if you wanted. But what it is is basically a command center that allows me to mount as many balls as I want up here. So it's, I forget which one this is. I think it's the 13 inch. I will link to all this stuff down below. You can use your imagination and you know search for, for whatever you're looking for for your specific use case. Getting this in here did require some modification. I'm not gonna get too deep into it right now, uh, but I took this off, drilled some holes, and actually cut a little chunk out of here so that this could nest right in here flush. I could have raised it to where it would be like two millimeters higher and put a spacer in on this side or something. But anyways, I cut off a little piece of this plastic with a razor, pop some screws into it, some bolts really, with some washers on the back side. And then I have this system that is relatively stable. Same with everything else. 
You put this on here and you can now attach whatever devices you want onto there. These balls do tighten and loosen so you could slide them around wherever you want to your exact position. Obviously you can put multiples on here. And then if you don't want to, if you're not going all expeditionary, you can simply do that remove it. Now it's just a very clean look. This, what I have over here, I've had forever. If you've seen my other truck videos, you've probably seen this. This is just a little magnet guy that I use primarily, which works well for me just driving around town. But again, if I'm taking those bumps a little too hard, this thing will fall off pretty easily. Hence, the ram mounts. Now one thing I really do want to highlight, there's a bunch of different ways to mount these things. People sell like visor mounts that have a little ball on them, but these are the ones I use a lot with these little T-slots in here. So these thread up in here and they tighten down and they are compatible with the ram channel system, obviously. Maybe they're called T-tracks, I forget. But these can be used elsewhere. Come with me. So here we have my very cool Prinsu rack, which we'll do a review on at some point. In the top of the Prinsu rack here, we have these channel systems, which are really to be used with mounting various stuff in here. But wouldn't you know it, these guys fit right in. So you wanna get that sick rooftop shot, super secure. This thing's not going anywhere. Pop that on. When you're done with it, slide it right out of the channel. Really, really slick. Conveniently, these same balls, pop this out. We'll also, slide in and function just like that. So these little balls, with my system anyway, obviously not everyone's gonna have my system, really a cool little accessory. So needless to say, with so many cool little parts and pieces, a guy like me goes crazy. I do keep right in here, this is a little Magpul DACA pouch. And I basically have this thing filled with Ram accessories. Sorry, my dog's going crazy in the background. So I have different like arms, GoPro mounts, little connectors and stuff in here. And I just keep that in my glove box. Kind of is this rubbery material, so it kind of keeps it from like bouncing around and like making any noise or anything in my glove box. Contains it well and is just, you know, relatively cheap little pouches that can hold various shaped objects. So inside of here, I have a long arm and I have a medium arm and then I have a small arm, a little connector and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff that I just kind of keep in here so I can kind of dial in a system for a trip or a specific use case or whatever and I have all those at arm's reach. All right, so one last little hack sort of, we were talking about this ball with this little thing that allowed it to detach my roof racks to the track system and everything. I said, what else could I do with that? So I use these for all of my filming needs. They have a little quick disconnect. They're a little, they're just a little Joby. Uh, they're the makers of Gorillapod. I use these on all my cameras and everything. It just takes a standard quarter inch screw thread in the bottom, one quarter 20. And so I found these. I'll link to them down below. So if you want to adapt this quarter inch thread pattern and get these little T-slots to work with your system, like I did, kind of hacked it sort of because I have this little ball head here. And it's kind of like almost like a mini RAM setup but completely different because it has this like quick detach head on there. Anyways, I can slide my camera right into this. I'd show you but my camera's still in the shop. The only camera I have is the one I'm filming on. But yeah, this plus this equals compatible with the same track system that the RAM balls are used with. Anyway, this video is way longer than intended because there's just, I use the RAM mounts for a lot of stuff. Hopefully it was helpful because I was a little bit, when I first saw these, I wished somebody explained how they worked and went together and what you could do with them. To me, 
I probably could have Googled it. I'm sure there's a ton of YouTube videos out there. But anyways, I thought I would make one for you guys to kind of show you the capabilities of the whole RAM system. Other manufacturers kind of make stuff that integrates with the RAM system as well. I don't have any of them, but I probably will start exploring them. There is one instead of the track system like Expedition Essentials or something does make a system that goes into the Tacoma as well and kind of is a similar functionality to what I've put. It's not quite as low profile as my setup, but there's a lot of stuff out there. I will link to the cool stuff down below in the video description, um, both the stuff I use as well as some other cool products that I've come across that either I haven't gotten yet or just I didn't think would really work well for me. Anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching, thanks for your time. Hit that thumbs up button, get subscribed to the channel, do all the good stuff, and until next time, take care.